Man, this movie really grinds my gears. <laughs> well, hey there, guys. Tommy here. Welcome back to my movie channel, and thank you very much for joining me for this, my review of the brand new film, Mortal Engines. But before we get into today's review, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so that you never miss out on my take on all things movies. Are you excited to see Mortal Engines or have you already seen this movie? Whatever your thoughts are, comment down below and let's carry on this discussion as film fans in the comment section below. So Mortal Engines is directed by Christian Rivers, produced by Peter Jackson, and is the story of these engines that are cities. So we have London and we have a couple of others. And it revolves around our main hero, Hester Shaw, who's going after Valentine, played by Hugo Weaving, because he killed a family member close to her, and our story kicks off from there. So, when I first saw the trailers to Mortal Engines, and I saw the trailers they've been playing for a while now, I didn't like the trailers, I wasn't a huge fan of them. I just thought the trailers looked like this movie was going to be an overabundant mess of CGI. And it just didn't look interesting to me. It looked very boring. It just didn't get my gears turning, every pun intended. And unfortunately, I have to say that I was right. Mortal Engines is a film that is just visual noise. This entire movie is just vacuous visual CGI fest with little to no substance at all. Like any potential this movie had for character development, depth, emotion is just sucked out of it because this movie just chooses to focus on the CGI and the special effects, which means you really just don't care about any character in this movie at all. There isn't a single character in this movie that I even remotely cared about or got invested in. Now, that's not to say this movie is the worst movie I've seen this year. I don't think this movie is complete and utter garbage, but this movie to me definitely isn't great. I didn't go into this movie really expecting to get sucked into these characters and really deeply emotional invested in these characters in the same way that I am with, say, characters from Star Wars or Harry Potter or the MCU. I just wanted to, at the very minimum, just care about these characters in the slightest, and I didn't. And there are some characters in this movie that have big, emotional, dramatic scenes, and there are big, glorious, emotional, overdramatic death scenes that happen in this movie to certain characters that just fall flat. They just fall completely flat. And why is everything in this movie played so overdramatically and so OTT? This movie is filled with so many cliches, so many overused movie tropes and movie dialogue. Like, this movie is, is just so much movie. There's no story there. It's like, let's just throw a hundred million dollars at the screen and see what happens. Now, yeah, th this movie is just a CGI fest. Now, let's talk about the CGI for a second. The CGI was fine. The, you know, I'm not going to complain about the CGI. It wasn't horrible. It's not the best CGI I've ever seen. I just expect more from a movie that's executive produced by Peter Jackson. Here's the other problem I have with this movie. It's more to do with the marketing of this movie than it is to do with the movie itself. But all the marketing of this movie, now, I was led to believe, now, none of the trailers said that it was directed by Peter Jackson, but I was under the impression that it was directed by Peter Jackson because all the marketing says Peter Jackson's Mortal Engines from the director of Lord of the Rings. So I'm watching the movie and I'm not enjoying it and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, this is a bad movie and wow, Peter Jackson really, this is a really bad day at the office for him as a director, you know, the guy who brought us Lord of the Rings. And then I get to the end credits and I realize, oh, hang on a second, Peter Jackson didn't direct this movie. He was an executive producer. It's directed by this guy called Christian Rivers, who has done a couple of little things. I just Googled him before I started this video. He's done a couple of little things that I have never heard of, and I don't think anyone's ever really heard of. Uh, but he's a New Zealand storyboard artist, so this is probably his first big feature film. And you can tell this movie's directed by a first-time first time director. Now, there is a couple of really quite humorous jokes in the movie. But any other joke, aside from maybe two that I g giggled at, any other joke in the movie just felt really, really forced. Like, it was... This movie, this whole movie just feels forced on the audience. Every relationship, there's a romance in the movie that that tries to set up, and you just don't buy it, like, at all. Like, it's complete... Like, these characters have no chemistry with each other. Man, I hope the book is better than the movie. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that is my review of Mortal Engines. If you enjoyed this review, and I certainly hope that you enjoyed this review more than I enjoyed Mortal Engines... 
Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notifications bell so that you never miss out on my take on all things movies. My name is Tom. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you guys next time.